Alright, Shalom. Call Halam La Yehawah, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect scattered across the earth. This is your brother Ayla coming to you with another lesson. And um you know I'm not I'm not sure what this lesson will be entitled, you know, at the moment. But uh Lord willing, the title will come to me. Lord willing, the elect of Yahweh by Shemi, I wish I'd be edified. And, um, you know, this lesson will basically be going into the wickedness of this world, man. You know, so it was something that I saw on social media, you know, um, and I got it pulled up right here. And you already see it. You already see it, you know. So, you know, I'll let this play and then Lord willing get a, get a few scriptures and then uh, close out. You know, and this, you know, um, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I mentioned this before, but seeing the wickedness that goes on around the world, you know, she vex our soul, man. She vex us. Right? The scriptures speak about um, just lot, right? That was vexed with... Uh, Vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, right? Lord will and I'll get that, but I'm going to play this first. All right, so let's go. And now this one. And listen to the music, look. You see what I'm saying? And so many of these people, you know, you know, uh, male and female are not fit to be parents, man. Why would you put that upon your child? A fresh baby, and you're going to put some thick ass eyelashes on him, on her. Her, I, I don't know, man. But see what I'm saying? So let me see, uh, just like, this is the book of um, Second Peter 2 and uh, 6. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an ensample uh, to those that sh after shall live ungodly, and deliver just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. And even that music was all, you know, man, uh, verse 8, for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. <clears throat> Which, you know, there's nowhere in the law where it says thou shalt not wear eyelashes, but the shit is fake, bro. Same with the uh, same thing with um, makeup. You know, even that term in itself, makeup make believe right fake putting some fake it's not how you really look and me personally ah oh, never mind i'll just keep that to myself but you know um <clears throat> right but let's go to the book of um matter of fact let's go to ezekiel nine and four and this will be a quick hit of lord willing you know, I just wanted to show that um, the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9, and verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city, which is his dealing with the Lord, speaking unto an angel. Through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And that's, that's the spirit that we should be in, sighing and crying for all the abominations that are committed within this wicked land. And to the others, what I said on that, <clears throat> you know, when they go to the book of um, Isaiah, chapter 24, and verse 4, the earth mourneth and fadeth away, the world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish, 
The earth also is the fell under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. You see that? So the earth is is defiled, man. Now you do have you do still have you know things that are beautiful, you know that the Lord has created in the earth, you know. But man, Second Edges fifteen and five, behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the hurtful works are fulfilled. A matter of fact, since that was a child, you know, that made me think of, uh, I believe it's Proverbs 22. Let me see, uh, never mind. Train up a child. Yeah, a lot of these people aren't fit to be uh, parents, you know. Mothers and fathers, right? Proverbs 22 and 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Right? You see? Let me go to the, let's see, um, what else can I grab? And, um, you know, me personally, I find it beneficial, you know, watching, you know, just when you see the wickedness that's going on, and then, you know, it vexes your soul, or at least it should, or it vexes you, rather, you know, which it should. And what does it do? It does, it, let me um get this Second Peter 3 and 14, no, 13. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. We're not satisfied here, man. We want to get the, the the hell up out of here, and that's the spirit you should be in. You should. This is not your. This is not our rest. You shouldn't be comfortable here. You know, you shouldn't be at rest here. You know, in your spirit. No matter what, you know, temporary comforts you may have, whether you have a good job, you got a woman, whatever, man. All that shit can be taken away with the snap of a finger, man. All right, but anyway, let me go to uh, Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. This place is polluted. That's why you have to be, you know, to the best of your ability, immersed in the word of Yahweh by Shemi Awashai. You know, immersed definition. <clears throat> Dip or submerge. Involve oneself deeply in a particular activity, activity or interest, right? You got to be in this thing deep, you know. Once again, Micah two and ten, uh, yeah, Micah two and ten. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. Right. Let me go to um, Jeremiah fifty one, and uh, six. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Right? And uh, what's that other scripture? Um, damn, what is it? Hmm. What is that? We got Micah 2 and 10, we got Jeremiah 15 and 6. I could be mistaken, but I thought it was another one. <laughs> you know, but that, um, yeah. You know, so that's that's pretty much it on that, you know. Lord willing, the elect of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai was edified. Call Halim La Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone once again. Salutations to the hopeful elect scattered across the earth. See you in the next lesson, Lord willing. Wa Yahweh Shemi Awashai Baba Kasha Ababa Ba Wa Shalawam.